subject, auburn hair, has been accentuated by the artist's use of alizarin crimson, often used to paint blood. It makes for a truly evocative frame in which to nestle such a powerful visage. And the artist has mainly used round and filbert brushes to perfect the curvature of the model's features. Is that a guy or a girl? Does it matter? <laughs> Fair enough. It's an awesome piece. Well, if you like that, I think you'll absolutely love this piece. It just came in last week. Oh, no flash photography, sir. Oh, sorry, it's just, uh, I don't get to see a lot of indie portrait exhibition these days. Portraiture's always been my thing. <laughs> what can I show you next? Uh, well, I've had a good look around, actually, and I can't really find what I came to see. It was the, uh, Prime Minister's portrait. Arriving tomorrow, sir. It'll be on display in our main exhibition room, exclusively for the weekend. Got it. Well, I guess I'll have to come back then. Thank you again for visiting, sir. Please, call me Taylor. Uh, is she all right with those easels? Oh, uh, don't mind her. She's just my intern. All right. Anyway, uh, Taylor, I'm Morgan. Pleasure's all mine, Morgan. Uh, if you don't mind my asking what time you finish, maybe I could hear some more critiques over a drink. Oh, wow. And <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, I'm full of surprises, me. It takes guts to approach a woman in her place of work. <laughs> well, how else would you ask someone out? You're a very charming young man, Taylor. Yeah, get that a lot. I'm sure you're very popular with boys and girls your own age. Uh, thank you again for visiting. Right. See you tomorrow, then. He was my favourite customer of the day. Out of how many? Five. Including or excluding the lady who needed the loo? Including. Was that the last of the easels, Sam? Yes, Miss Haynes. I arranged them in the storeroom and cleaned the toilets just like the boss. Is there anyone else left in the building? No, it's just us. I'll lock up early then. <sighs> Is there something wrong with your back? No, it's nothing. Um, I took some painkillers in the office. OK. We've got a big weekend ahead. I need you fighting fit. <laughs> of course, I will be. There is one thing, Morgan. Um, I've been interning here for a while now, and I've learned so much from you, um, including what you look for in good portraiture. Oh, Sam, I, I'm, I'm so sorry, but we just haven't been turning over enough for me to pay you. No, no, it's nothing to do with that. Oh. Do you think it's good enough to have a small part in the exhibition this weekend? Oh. <laughs> Let me take a closer look. Hmm. I think... It looks... right at home. Congratulations, Sam. You have your first exhibited piece of art. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, you don't need to say anything. Your talent earned this. Thank you so much, Morgan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now go home and get some rest. We're going to have a lot more customers this weekend. I'll be in early to help you receive the Prime Minister's portrait. How are you spending the weekend? 
Well, here's one for the more sophisticated listener. An officially commissioned portrait of the Prime Minister is going on display at Argyle Manor. The painting was done by none other than Turner Prize winning portraitist Nicky Dryden Oaks. Britain has been torn asunder! Hardship is befalling the populace like a plague! What is our future? Eh? What is our future? Hey, what's going on here? Is he threatening you, madam? No. You need to oh, listen to me. All right, all right, quiet down, quiet down. Yes, um, he, he snuck up on me and shouted at me and he destroyed my radio. Right, fella, don't make this difficult. You're under arrest for disturbing the peace, mate. I'll take him to the road and radio in for a car to pick him up. Yeah, don't forget to read him his rights as you go. Yeah. Come on. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. Is it broken? Seems like it. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks an expensive model, too. It was. Well, me and my partner will be on duty locally through the night. We'll be alert to any disturbances. Appreciate it. Is that your disappointed face? Oh, Nicky, yeah. of course not. You never see that. It, it's my extremely surprised face. <laughs> <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure, Miss Dryden Oaks? Well, I was just passing through the area. I, I did see some police hanging about outside, though. Oh, just checking up ahead of tomorrow. Uh, uh, let me show you the exhibition room. Mm -hmm. That's very 1970s, too. Oh, the manners, electrics haven't been refined for a while, but they'll be back on shortly. Ah, as if by magic. <laughs> and uh, I've made space, especially. Oh, well. It'll be the absolute centerpiece. You won't need that much space. Uh, oh, you brought it. <laughs> uh, what about the scheduled delivery? I cancelled it, don't worry. I thought you'd appreciate a personal delivery. Who knows? The extra attention might even reel in some buyers for these others. Oh, but profits are from admission only. Everything else is about showcasing the portraits. Questionable business model. You gonna get that? Uh, no, it's not, um... urgent. Nikki, uh, not here. No better place. You owe me this much, don't you? I knew no one would disturb us. <laughs> now, guard that case with your life. I, I will, Nicky, I promise.
Morgan Haynes speaking. The exhibition's closed for the day. Hi, Morg. It's me. Again? Look, sorry to pass that. Uh, you'd think I was the baby of the family, wouldn't you? Jamie, I can't talk to you. Yeah, no, all it is is um, I just need somewhere to bed down over the weekend. And it's the last time, all right? I promise. I'm not in a position to help you anymore. No, but I'll, I'll repay you with interest. I can get some um, like investors for your gallery and um, I'll sort it all out. You're still here. Who's that? I told you to clear this up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you fuck it there. Look, Morg, I've got... I've got no one else to call. Oi, oi, seriously, Beth, leave it. My name isn't Beth, you twat. I don't give a fuck, Betty. It's not Betty, either. Jamie, let me speak to the girl. Look, she's, she's not a girl. OK, she's overrating. Hand her the phone. She wants to talk to you. Hello. Who is this? I'm his sister. I'm here to help... This is awful! I just met this guy at a bar and thought he was cool. But now... I'm going to call the police if he doesn't fucking leave. Uh, uh, you, you don't need to do that. Just, just listen to me. He bought drugs. Please. His dealers know where I live now. This is my parents' house. I'm going to Oxford this year. Just listen to me, OK? Blake. Blake. That's a beautiful name. Do you have any cash, Blake? Yes, of course. Give him everything you can for a hotel room tonight. You're just trying to steal from me. My name is Morgan Haynes. I'm the curator of the portrait exhibition at Argyle Manor. Come here tomorrow and I will write you a cheque to remunerate you. Deal? Yes. Anything to get rid of him. Thank you. In the future, Blake, beware of people who promise you the world. Lesson learned. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Oh, hi. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me borrowing the armchair. Oh, no, um, of course not. That's, that's what they're out for, customers. It's a bit rickety. Could do with a reverb. I'm looking to paint a copy of one of your... I'm sorry, sir. We're closed. Well, you don't usually close this early, do you? No, but uh, we, we've got a big weekend and so... Hang on, how did you get in? Uh, the front door should have been locked. I'm afraid it wasn't. I typed in my passcode and saw it lock, I'm sure of it. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I walked right in. That's not possible. Hmm. Well, it could have been an electrical fault. You've never had any power cuts or anything. It's not uncommon in old properties like this. And don't worry, I, I turned the lock with my own hands after I came in. <laughs> Wouldn't want someone lifting these beautiful paintings. Well, they aren't quite Rembrandts. <laughs> Rembrandt was overrated. Seriously? A well-versed imitator of Caravaggio. Each to their own. Look, sir, we have a big day tomorrow. We're, we're closing early. Oh, the uh, dried Noakes portrait of the Prime Minister. <laughs> How did you pull that off? I met Nikki at a function at the World Trade Center in New York. We hit it off. We finally found a way to collaborate. Wow. <laughs> An artist with Nikki's profile helping out a well, small exhibition like that is quite something. She's doing me a great favor. With no strings attached, too. I'm Dorian. Uh, Morgan. Dorian, like... Uh, Dorian Gray. 
Ironic, eh? It's a lovely name. <laughs> I must say, you're the first ever reproduction artist to visit one of my exhibitions. You mean forger? A faithful reproduction is a fine art in itself. Although you would be Rembrandting a Caravaggio. <laughs> Touché. I've been struggling for inspiration recently. It's tough. I never had the talent myself, so I figured I'd contribute more by helping those who do. In that case, could I paint you? You make such an amazing subject in so many ways. You're really quite enthralling. I suppose I could spare half an hour. <laughs> Brilliant. Let me just reconfigure. <laughs> you prefer to paint standing? Always. It allows me to zoom in and out on my subject. Uh, how are you going to pose? Um, oh, um, oh, I, I, I don't know. I've, um, it's harder than I thought. <laughs> Perfect. Stay like that. OK. <laughs> I'm sorry about my Rembrandt comment. I can have uh, some strong opinions. It was uh, bold but valid. Rembrandt stole his students' work for the last 10 years of his career. This is going to be great. <laughs> oh, plastic bottle. Fancy. Mm. Huh. Uh, let's leave it there for tonight. I could uh, sit for you again next week. Let me do your skin tone as a base. <laughs> no, Dorian, I need to get home. I'm not asking for much longer. I know how you artists can get. If I let you start, we will be here all night. All right, uh, this is over. I'm done. I really wouldn't, you know. Stand up and this room ends up looking like a Jackson Pollock. Feel under your seat. That is a PAD, a pressure-activated detonator. A bomb, Morgan. Similar principle to a grenade. Once the safety pin is removed, the striker lever and percussion cap collide, creating a spark which triggers the detonator. Once you sat down on that chair, you became the safety pin. This isn't real. <laughs> no. Well, go on. Try it. <laughs> You've never been someone's muse, have you? Like Victorine Mourant and Manet. Do you want money? Uh, uh, I could Amber write you a White check. Painted Helga test off or a painting. Uh, you you could take any one of these. Dorian, what do you want?
behind the drapes. Multiple sockets. Fancy. Someone's really trying to get hold of you. Morgan, are you there? Morgan! Uh, yes, Nicky, I, um... I need you again. I'll be at the Rampton. I've booked our usual suite. I'll make my excuses at home. But Nikki, tonight I really can't... Think very carefully about the next word that comes out of your mouth. I'll take your silence as a yes. Don't let me down. You can't keep me here. Suzanne insisted on dozens of sittings when painting his subject. Goya sometimes needed just a day. I only want the night. Get rid of that shit. Mate, I'm a logger man through and through. Nah, try it. Try it. Wait, uh, oh yeah, that's rank. I think I'm done for tonight anyway. What? Why? Wait, my head's spinning. Help! Help me! Did you hear that? Yeah, I think it came from the manor. Isn't this the one you ponced around today? Yeah. Visiting an art gallery instead of coming to the pub. <laughs> Why are we mates again? Very funny, dickhead. Uh, the owner. Oh, mate, she was real sweet. Anyway, come on. Riley's party will be kicking off now. Yeah. Mate, call the police if you actually care. Yeah, you go on. Take this. I'll catch up. See yourself. See you there. Don't do that again. I won't be so gentle next time. All right. I'll be good. I know you will. What's that? Dorian? Tell me when Nikki's painting's being delivered. First thing in the morning by a fine art transportation company. Hmm. And how's it being brought in? Uh, by the back door, just through there. Great. So we have until the morning, as I'd hoped. So that's what you're really after. How did you get in here? My uncle was a chimney sweep. As a teenager, I worked with him and learned how to scale houses and open unlocked windows. Such lowly manual jobs are all I could aspire to at that age. Your painting style does seem somewhat Practical. And you look like you could use a good night's sleep, too. My reality means that I have to pursue my passion outside working hours. Anything else you want to critique to make me feel even more out of place? I know I might not look like you or talk like you. That's not what I was doing. 
Art is for all, and all are welcome at my exhibitions. Well, that's a utopian vision, isn't it? But my social strata means that I, like many, exist under a glass ceiling. And you think what you're doing here will break that ceiling? You think sleeping with Nikki will save your business? <laughs> the building should be empty. I know that. Oh, uh, don't go anywhere, will you? Obviously not. Who is that? I don't know. He's not some crazy ex or... Sorry. So, should we get you out of here then? I can't stand up. There's a bomb under my chair. What? Is this bloke like IRA? I don't know. No way. Whoa. Taylor! I could carry you. Sorry, a uh, shit idea. Just get out of here, OK? Well, I can't leave you here. The police station's not far from here. Get them to send help. They won't believe me. Of course they will. You really don't know what it's like to be black right now, do you? Oh, Taylor, just go, please. All right, I I'll go and get help. Uh, what's the best way out of here? Um... Uh... Uh, take the front door. You'll need the security code. Which is? Oh, shit, I've just changed it. Um... Two? No rush. Uh, 1807. Press select after you've typed it. Fancy. I'll see you in a bit. For oh, fuck's sake. Come on. Hi there. Mate, look, I don't want any trouble, all right? It doesn't need to be. Find anything? Just the wind blew over some easels. So, shall we? There's talent in this room. I could see a few of these on the walls of great galleries. Portrait painting is dying. TVs, Polaroid cameras. People have images on demand now. Why would they waste time and money seeing those images through someone's paintbrush? Too afraid of what they might see. Nikki's been with her partner, what, 10 years now? Relationships are complicated. Wouldn't know.
What's all the noise, Jamie? So this, uh, this shitty room is all I'm worth, is it? You're lucky there were any vacancies at all. And be grateful Blake gave you cash. We've had noise complaints about you. <sighs> Whoops. Yeah, and as you paid in cash. I'm gonna need to ask for a chargeable credit card. Otherwise, we'll kick you out. Yeah, oh, mate, I don't know. Um, look, just give me, um, give me one second. Morg, listen, I, um, I need your credit card details. You can't be serious. They're gonna throw me out in the streets. Okay, please, Morgan, I am begging you. Please, I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Morg, please. Have you got a pen and paper? Um, yeah, I do. Wait, wait, wait. One, six, one, two. One, six, one, two. Yeah. One, nine, double, eight. Two, nine, one, two. Two, nine, one, two. Always remember how I don't what you used to think credit cards were. Oh, eight, eighty-two. Eighty-two. I've got it. Well, you are the best, Morg. I love you. Mwah. No wonder your business is going under. They'll come back on soon. I know. But unfortunately, I haven't got all night. You know what? Fuck this. I'm not sitting here any longer. Morgan. The best thing I could do is take you with me. I don't care anymore. No, Morgan. No, no. No, don't do that. Morgan, please, please. No, no! Well done for calling my bluff, but I don't lie about everything. Let me finish my portrait, or I will kill you. Hello? Who is that? I don't know. Madam? It's Sergeant Robin Latif. No, he's still here. I can hear voices. He's come from Dorsley. It's a policeman. Get rid of him or I will. Madam. What's the problem? A group of vandals have been breaking into businesses in the area. I wanted to check up on you. Oh, wow. Um, no, I haven't seen anything untoward. You alone? Yes, totally. Madam, I'm going to come in. Burglarising thugs? <laughs> Don't they have jobs? All good here, Sergeant. That is a sergeant's badge, isn't it? Yes, it is. My sister's an inspector, so I know the Met Police ranks quite well. <laughs> May I ask who you are? Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> He's caught us here, darling. <laughs> You'd have to hold a gun to this one, said for her to admit she's smitten. Is this your partner? You can't lie to a policeman, sweetheart. Uh, yes, Sergeant. Stop. 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 Stop.
everything wrong with this country. Do you think sleeping with Nikki will save your business? I bet you're hungry, huh? <laughs> Made it myself. It's been ringing incessantly. Answer it. Hello? You've got a nerve. Should have been here hours ago. I've had a lot on my plate this evening. Look, you little shit. What I've done for you is unprecedented. All I asked for in return was a couple of fucking orgasms. Nikki, I... Maybe you think you've outsmarted me or something, but you need to consider your position very carefully. This isn't going to happen. What? Well, tonight? Ever. Oh, cute. Look, I'm willing to let this slide if you'll just come over now. You don't get it, do you? This is wrong. I could ruin you if I wanted to. The future of your piss out business is riding on my painting. I'll have to find a way without you then, Nikki. I'm pulling the plug. I want my painting back first thing. Hello, Nikki. Who the fuck are you? All you need to know is my aunt's the editor-in-chief of one of the country's biggest tabloid newspapers. <laughs> Blackmail? Morgan, seriously? The media loves an extramarital affair. Art and sex. What a scoop. You have no proof. Want to bet? Morgan's told me every juicy, shocking detail. Don't call again. You're not getting the portrait back. Sorry, I just couldn't stand her inhumanity any longer. Is it done? Almost. You know, I'm just opening your eyes, Morgan. So you are a preacher, then? Please. Religion repulses me. Theism gave rise to the hierarchical systems of power that plague humanity today. Monarchs, presidents, prime ministers. We're preconditioned to serve, yet we're shocked by the greed of politicians and, and bankers scrambling their way to the top of the tree. It's been like this for decades, and it will be like this for decades to come unless someone takes a proper stand. Borg. The bottom of the tree would like to speak to you. Oh, shit. Hello? Hi, Morg. You answered. Listen, um... Thanks for bailing me out. Okay. Oh, 
my mum and dad's have this on me now. All the whores and the drugs. <sighs> At least none of the money went to waste. And do you know the fucking maddest thing, yeah? If I had it all again, I'll probably just do the fucking same. Stop saying these things. I'd like to think you wouldn't. <laughs> I need saving, Mork. How much more can I do? I don't know. You're supposed to be the smart one, so just, just think of something. I'm sorry, Jamie. Today I have other priorities. Goodbye. Well done, Morgan. The local church choir have got going. Listen to those fools. The glory that they sing of was founded on the suffering of millions. This mindless patriotism veils the divisions that sunder our country. Divisions this Prime Minister seeks to ignore or even uphold. Wouldn't you agree, Morgan? Stay there! Morgan! tie you up like an animal. After all I've taught you, this is my thanks. I don't owe you anything, Dorian. You're just full of hate. Someone will have heard my screams and called for help. No one is coming to save you, Morgan. How can you be so sure? Because your actions have closed off all your options. You've burnt all your bridges. Why are you doing this, you mad man? For our future, Morgan. It's always been decided for us by the self-interested and the ignorant. It's time to take back that agency. We must weaponize and target the pressure points that will truly harm the establishment. <laughs> Beauty itself is but the sensible image of the infinite. Francis Bacon. Thank you for being part of my stand against oppression. You're taking a stand against the Prime Minister at a portrait gallery. That makes no sense. You lunatic. A fish rots from the head down. The entire establishment is defunct. My actions today shall be a catalyst for change. A stand to show people that with precision and organization, we can destabilize and overhaul the system. Through brutality. That's not a worthy catalyst for change. Change can be inspired, but you need a message that's powerful enough to unite everyone. But da Vinci was born a peasant so anonymous that his surname was merely the town he grew up in. He committed his life to conveying a message through his art. And the world listened.
I wish a beautiful message was all it took. If you'd just have believed in me, we could have opened Britain's eyes together. How am I going to get out of here? Once I walk through that door, start cutting yourself free. Thank you. Well, you never gave me a critique of my painting. I see. Ungracious in defeat. Goodbye, Morgan. <laughs>